Ego Shoes is what I'm going to talk about today, my beautiful Super Soul Sisters, and well done for taking another step, little step every single day to get you into your shoes on your path going your own way, okay? Now today, this this is quite a big topic, um, and I'm going to try and compress it into the 10 minutes that we've got, um, but effectively, ego is just such a prevalent factor of our lives now these egotistical people but the ego that i'm talking about is um again what Eckhart Tolle talks about um wayne dwyer used to talk about this a lot and it is the the uh, i think the buddhists really talk about it as well i don't know if they actually call it ego or not um maybe someone can you know share that with me but it's the side of us that that gets locked up into all the superficial blah blah i call it superficial blah i had a friend who used to say blah blah fish paste <laughs> and i'm just like what does that even mean but it's like we it's so whatever it's the it's the so superficial inane and yet we're so driven by that these days aren't we um you know it's all that social media it's all the you know uh, power, status, uh, what you have is what you're worth, what you look like is what you're worth, uh, you're not good enough, I'm better, it's highly competitive. Um, that ego-driven state is so prevalent in our society and dare I say social media has pushed it really to the wall, I think, and which is half the reason I'm on such a, uh, on a mission um, to wake up as many lovely ladies as I possibly can for us to what I what I'm calling the get real campaign. Let's get back to who we really are, you know, because um, in my opinion, God wouldn't have made us the way we are if it wasn't good enough, right? So why are we not accepting of that? You know, why are we resisting? Why are we trying to be something for somebody else who's probably more dysfunctional than we are or worse or has had tra traumas beyond comprehension and we're trying to change to what to make them happy and, and for what reason, you know? So when we can land up filling our own buckets, our internal selves, so that we're not looking outside of ourselves to fill those holes. You know, I'm not good enough, therefore I eat or I drink or I need to change what I look like or to get acceptance from somebody else or I need to be an overachiever in order to be um, get approval from mum, dad, si you know, siblings, whoever, society, cultural, whatever it is, you know, it's what... It, fundamentally the message that is going out is you're not okay the way you are so you have to change in order for us to accept you and I think that's total and utter BS okay we need to change that and ego is a big driver of that unfortunately so what um, Wayne Dwyer refers to about that is um, he he calls it edging God out so it's kind of like he gives the analogy of like, you know, um, everything's groovy. You know, you, you look all around us. There is absolute beauty in absolutely everything that you look at. Even the things that aren't pretty have beauty in it. You know, there's something in there that gives us the balance in that. We have the yin, we have the yang, we have the positive, we have the negative. We have, you know, um, the we have my you know, macrocosms and uh, the, an ecosystem, if you like, of nature being in balance. And, you know, this ego comes into our world and tells us, no, the forest should all be purple. No, it should all be yellow or it all should be whatever. And we start messing with nature. What? And, you know, like God had it that way for a reason. It works well together. And then humans take over. So he talks about how, um, you know, the gestation period of, um, which is amazing. Um, we have this energy system that ignites these two things that unite, fertilizes the egg and turns into a nice little fetus. Everything's groovy. It grows, grows, grows. Everything's fine. Beautiful little baby. It pops out. And then he says, and then we go, thanks, God. We'll take over from here. <laughs> and then we try and change it. This is like like a little toy, you know, we're going to change it or toy, you know, we're doing the best that we can. I mean, like, don't don't get me wrong. You know, that that's not what I'm saying. You know, it's like it's like effectively because we're conditioned, we want to do the best that we want for that that child. So we try and change things to make it better. 
and then you know like we we pass it down whether we like it or not if we're unaware of half these things this is what happens so you know and that's a similar sort of thing it's like that um edging god out like it's like what why is why do you think that that's not okay you know like there there there's a balance and the imbalance if you like you know there's there's beauty in that as well as as the uh, as there isn't and you know um i getting on top of that ego and and going do you know what there's too much ego now that's where i'm at like it's like there's just so much of it we really are being pushed to the wall with all that social media all it's so superficial it's so false there's nothing deep i've got three thousand people you know like for example um connections or acquaintances on my facebook or whatever and it's just like how many of them are deep relationships you know um how many of them really matter to you if the chips were down would you really be there for them you know um you've got your your fancy glasses on your fancy hair you know whatever it is your your, your fancy shoes you whatever you look good you on facebook you know you're all, you, the superficial facade is exactly that it's a superficial facade and so many of them are so fragile like if you push that it shatters quite often i find and it's like what's sitting behind it i i want to know what's behind it what's the real you so that's why i'm on this whole big thing of you know the get real campaign like let's get us ladies back to get real we are what we are and let's get us unapologetic about it it is you know it is what it is like i'm i'm you know dare i say you know i'm in my 50s okay and it is what it is um i i don't i could get a lot of work done but at the end of the day i'm going to pass over it's the energy that counts it's what's inside you either like me or you don't if you don't then so so be it you know you got to take your shoes and go on the path that suits you fine i'm all right with that so when we get that um that whole thing about the ego and it is so prevalent often i find in um oh i found it a lot in corporate if i'm honest and i used to have this saying um at, with with work when i had meetings please leave the ego at the door like hang your ego up on a little hook <laughs> and leave it there because it can get in the way of genuine communication authentic communication because you're so busy trying to be right being more important being more competitive um, showing off that i'm bigger and better than you um, who's got more power who's got more status really what are we really here to talk about you know we're here to resolve this issue whatever the issue is or we're here to brainstorm on this well if i'm so busy trying to outsmart you and out compete you and out you know um status symbol you like you where's the focus it's on you isn't it it's not going out you're not helping those that are around you so i used to say please can you leave your egos at the door i know it sounds really odd but when you when i used to bring conscious attentions to it um it was like oh okay i i can physically put it aside ask for it to step aside and then I would have much better results coming out of the meeting as a result. So, you know, we're not talking as a, I'm your boss and you're my, you know, underling. There was no, all of that got stripped away. Everything like that got stripped away. It's like, this is what we're talking about today. Let's throw everything out there. Doesn't matter, you know, what level you are. It's a great idea. If it's a good one, you know we can all vote on it and we can go right okay those top ones are the ones that we're going to run with how can we actually implement it and it just we got results so much quicker and it's the same sort of thing in our lives you know it's just like if we can stop um that's why i want to be doing the you know um shoes off what's really going on sessions um where we're actually having that genuine conversation again like we we you know the ego's not in it it's like this is what's really happening you know back of the the facebook profile where you're you know the poses and the whatever you know or insta whatever it is um showing off or needing to show off or whatever that need is let's step in to find out why you're what's driving that behavior so that you can let that go so that you've got more emotional resilience in your life i mean to me i'd rather have real deep meaningful relationships with people and less of them if that's what's required rather than to have thousands of or even millions that i just don't know and look i'm i, I get it you know like 
maybe you know if i can reach that many people maybe you know these videos will create enough shift in other people even if you can't have that with me that you will learn this stuff so that you can have it within your own immediate circle so you know i get that i'm not going to be able to reach every single person but at least through these videos, this is at least a start, you know, it's, and even if I can't, you know, we don't actually get to meet in person ourselves one day, this is, these are learnings that you can take with you for the rest of your life, you know, that are game changers. And, and I really, that's, you know, getting to the real you, authentic you, and, and having you as full and unapologetic for who you really are that that's gold man that's just gold that that's where you find your happy space that's where you're in alignment with the upper with the with your inner source with your inner god whatever you want to call it when you're in alignment with all of that you're so resilient to life because stuff will get presented and you go thanks no thanks yes no those are shoes that i used to wear i don't want to wear them anymore oh the life becomes so clear and easy and happier and breezier and i want that for you you know so i hope you found that useful please like thumbs up share you know subscribe whatever um please share with somebody who you think this could make a difference to um and yeah you know feel free to share your thoughts if you want to in the comments box below as well all right thank you so much namaste